In the previous video, we discussed whom all actions can be attributed to. The follow-up question is, if it is by him, then why does everyone have a different destiny? If it is by us, do we humans have free will? Absolutely. As we saw, all of this misunderstanding is arising from the mistaken sense of separateness. We believe that we are an independent separate entity. And the moment I am an independent separate entity, I see you as another independent separate entity and I postulate a God who is another separate independent entity, but all capable, all powerful, da da da. And where this entire thing breaks down is you say God is omniscient, fantastic, he knows everything. He is omnipotent, fantastic, he is capable of everything. And omnipresent, that means he is present everywhere. If he is present everywhere, how can you be a separate human being? How can you be a separate entity? You are nothing but an expression of the same single Godhead. And in this context, there is no separate destiny. This is how things are. It's more like a play. And in that play, there is a particular character which you are playing. It does not mean that the character actually is destined to do something. The character plays. That role of, the, of that particular character is played by you. That destiny belongs to the character, not to you. And do you have free will? Yes, as the single one who is omnipresent, omnipotent and omniscient, you have complete free will. But as the character in the play, you don't have free will because the play has to work in the context in which it is written and the character has to play its role exactly in the context in which it is conceptualized. So, does the character have free will? Not at all. Do you, the true you, the true essential you, have free will? Everything there is, is done according to your free will only.